So this year's theme is Health for All in a Growing and Mobile World and we're focusing on population growth and the issues faced by human movement, um, including migration, uh, refugees and asylum seekers and human trafficking as well. We wanted our delegates to learn about um, new ideas and initiatives in global health and to be able to share their own learning and experience from their field work or their original research. Our cultural performances are from a range of different cultures and I think that this really enriches the academic program and provides some cultural context for our delegates. We also wanted to have an innovative part of the forum and allow our delegates to shape, define and refine new projects in global health, as well as to start to build a global health community and connect people. I think I've met really a lot of like-minded people um, and have been inspired by a lot of speakers as well. We were just talking at lunch about this wonderful pharmaceutical company in Mumbai who is making the pill at cost and distributing it free across South Africa for starters. Last night the keynote speaker was Brendan Crabb who's the director of our institute and I was really happy uh, that they chose someone from a research background to speak. It's everybody's uh, job firstly to understand that they are, are, are simply citizens of a single world where some have it uh, much, much better uh, than others. Well, I think we can do some very exciting things which can actually change the whole future of Australia. And you're the people who are going to do this. The forum so far has provided a real understanding of how many passionate minds there are. You do have a lot of people that are predominantly medical, clinical focused, but I'm really glad that at a conference like this, you do have researchers, epidemiologists, pharmacists, physiotherapists, which I think are all really important for the global health dialogue. This is just the beginning, and I think really you know, forming a network of people and forming some contacts and staying in touch is the key. What's likely is the 200 people or so who will leave this Global Health Forum uh, go out as, as ambassadors uh, for the world's needy.